Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He's a level three whiskey small EA. He's a master mooch. And today, something fancy. It's whiskey. Okay, so we've got two gifts to give today. Yes. Uh, one, really interesting glassware. Wait, two gifts to, to, or to announce. To announce. Yeah. Okay. Uh, interesting glassware from Highland Park, Ooh. given to us by the Van Names, Joe and Kate Van Name, two of our whiskey sommeliers. You know what, you put some whiskey in here and I can call them something. I know, what's your code? Mine's number five. Oh, there's, I'm number eight. What's yours? Number eight, industriousness. Mine's discipline. Does that mean we have it or you know, we need it? Here's the thing, wait. That is so accurate. It really is. Wow. You have no idea how accurate that is. Because yeah, I'm the one that's always yes, and I am. methodically making shit happen. And then and I will figure like, it, the figure yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, I will figure it out. I will polish it. Now, for man. those of you in my category who are heavy on discipline, let me just give you a really depressing reality. Most of the time, <laughs> the shit that industrious people come up with on the spur of the moment is better than the shit that the disciplined people come up with. <laughs> which is unendingly frustrating, <laughs> speaking as someone who is disciplined. Uh, uh, okay, so. Speaking as somebody undisciplined. Yeah. So, now yeah. this <laughs> is McAllen Rare Cask, a oh. gift of like a $300 whiskey oh, given to us by Michael Zhao. Michael Zhao? Michael Zhao. Dude, right out of the gate, bring in the damage. Michael Zhao, you magnificent. Bastard. Now, Michael Zhao, uh, he and his family mm -hmm. own, in West Austin, Okay. own a Chinese uh, med herb and medicine shop. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I can't remember what's called Austin Herbs or something like that. Um, we're going to go and check it out, though. You know what? So here's what he dropped for, off. For, he dropped three, us for this. For $300, you could probably... Remember, I know, right? Austin Mr. Herbs. Mr. Discipline. He gave us this thing that they created called Drinking Buddy. Okay. And you're supposed to take five before you start drinking and five after because they're herbs. Right. Um, Chinese herbs. Now I've been I've done this now for a week. Look, before we did videos, I I, I don't ask you this lightly. Yeah. Are you trying to roofie me? Yes. Where's that pill? There it is. Okay. So it smell? works. It smells like ground mustard. Yeah, it's all spices, right? Yeah. It's all things. So it works better if you take all of them at once. I don't want to take it with my cold coffee. So... Dude, Lord, that's a mouthful here. Hold on. Well, see, I, so I took pills, uh, different medicine pill things that's every day. Son of a... Every day for the last, uh, like, 18 years. And so now I can take medicine without water look, usually. Look at, look at that. Look at that. That volume that I'm about to shove down. That's my a lot of shit right there. <laughs> I'm gonna get so high. <laughs> so this is called, they call that stuff drinking buddy. It's supposed to protect against liver toxicity. Okay. Does it promote libido? Cause I... Supports liver function and reduces discomforts related to the consumption of alcohol. So horny. I just gave you five Viagra pills. <laughs> I need to move the books over yeah. here. Oh, this is cool. Move your glass out of the way so I don't knock it off. And right. Hey, look at this fancy. Look at that fancy box. Oh, nice. No. Dude. Oh, that's the cork. That's the dog killing cork right there. You can knock out a donkey or I kill it. I think we may need to invest in fancy corks for our whiskeys. So by the time we invest in all the stuff we want to invest in for a whiskey. Our bottle is going to be like $80 each. Right, and then the whiskey is going to be just like the cheapest thing yeah, in there. Yeah, we just refilled Crown Royal <laughs> into the bottles. No, <laughs> we had, I don't, did we, I don't know if it was on camera, we had this joke we should make a brand that looks a lot like Crown, call it Clown Loyal. Clown Loyal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I asked our lawyer and she was like, oh yeah, they would go after you for that. <laughs> so, what is, <laughs> we always come up with these ideas and Daniel asked our attorney, and what is, <laughs> she, the other day I called her and we finished our phone call and she said, my conversations with you are the weirdest 
conversations I have with any of my clients, and this is a law firm that is the number one liquor law firm in Texas. Yeah. And she's like, every time you call, I know it's going to be really weird and interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. So I always, I'm like, well, good. That means you always take my calls. Yes. Of course, she charges me $450 an hour. Yeah, we're, we're, um, <laughs> we're glad we have somebody so experienced. Yeah, but, but she's totally worth it. We're trying to figure out that tipping point where she likes us so much that she says, no, 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 no. Couldn't possibly Pro charge bono. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's all pro bono. Because right. you guys are a charity case. Oh, McAllen Rare Cask. How is this different than a standard McAllen? The story of Rare Cask is that it was uh, 2015. Man. Um, this is a lot more character than I was expecting from McAllen. 2014. It's whiskeys drawn from 16 different sherry casks. Chosen by Bob Dorgarno. Most of the sherry casks are first fill. Right. So it's even more sherry flavor than normal. So it's super rich. Yeah. Now, rich. everyone loves to shit on McAllen because everyone loves to shit on the top dog. Yeah. And it's the same reason people like to hate you too. Which is like, how could you hate you too? I could hate you not, I could get you not liking their music, mm -hmm. but hating them? <laughs> All right. It's like people who hate Coldplay. It's like, ah, I could see you be bored by Coldplay, but hate Coldplay. That just means it, you've crossed the line into being so popular, people enjoy hating you. Right. Now, McAllen is amazing at marketing, right. and so they command a price disproportionate to their quality yes. for most single malt whiskey drinkers. Yeah. For the price, you could get a superior malt from Glendronic or Abalor or even Equal for half as much. Now. In my mind, that's called successful marketing. <laughs> well done, McAllen. If you can get it, get it. Yes. Now, you, what you can't say about McAllen is that they, they don't give a shit about whiskey. No, no, no. That's a good They thing. are serious about whiskey. They don't add coloring. They don't chill filter usually. Right. They um, are so obsessed with sherry barrels right. that they craft their own barrels at a cooperage, and then they... Uh, give them to the top two sherry producers in Spain mm -hmm. to age their sherries for two years oh, or wow. 18 months, yeah. and then they bring them back, they refinish them again, and then they pour McAllen into them. So they are so obsessed with the quality of whiskey and the flavors profiles right. that they want control over every part of the process. And that's impressive. So, is this plastic or metal? Oh, this is metal. Oh, come on. It's a metal cork, it's heavy. It just begs for violence. I know. You got me those roofies, I'm all turned on. Okay, so here's the thing. In the nose for this, it's all the things you get from a rich sherry cask, which is plum and uh, dark raisin notes. Mm. And there's a lighter note in there too. Maybe honeysuckle. Oh, yes. Plum, raisin. And flowers, and then you say honeysuckle, but there's a note in here that I always ref that I always call a dark, deep, rich honey, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, but just uh, if there's a concentrated uh, honey note. In now there. the taste is thick and viscous. It's uh, kind of oily. So, I can't find the spice, but I think it's because it's not the first thing we've tried today. And that's what I wanted to ask you about, because I see these really big brands. And 43 for these big brands mm -hmm. is a really common number. 43 and 46. For, well, it, 46 because you don't have to chill a filter and it stays non-cloudy. Okay. I don't know why 43. I so think it I, gives just enough alcohol bite. I, I think I know why 43. Okay, bring it on. Because if you're at 40%, that is Lottery. a number. That is a number where people say, oh yeah, they're trying to stretch this out. They're just going for maximum dollars. They don't really, they're not looking for the best whiskey. If you could inch that up a few, a few, uh, a few numbers there, 43, then people, it's, it's barely enough where people start to think, okay, well at 43, you know, they didn't stretch it out as far as they could go. Maybe 43. Maybe was, they made a decision. Maybe, maybe it was the right number for this whiskey. So maybe it's splitting the difference between not wanting to have to chill filter. That's my theory. And, but still wanting to get as many bottles as you can out of this. That's my theory. And you're having to weigh both of those in the balance. Right. Uh, I will tell you that the aftertaste on this, right. it's still going. It lingers. Uh, that oil lingers, and you're ending up with kind of orange. No, this is very enjoyable. And uh, berry notes. This is very enjoyable. Berry, but like... Like a slightly sour berry. Mm -hmm. um, what would be a slightly sour berry? 
slightly sour berry, like a uh, blackberry. Yeah, maybe blackberry. Strawberry. Strawberry can be slightly sour if you're not wrapped in sugar. Mm. Uh, but strawberry is pretty strong. This is not strawberry. Andrew Cooper, you guys have the Whiskey Tribe group, or, group already, but I'm going to start my own group for tea. It's going to be less of a tribe and more of a party. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, let me ask you this. Which is hilarious. How do you think this comment's going so far? <laughs> I think I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Was it good for you? It's good for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tyson Spangler, if you took a friend who was visiting Austin to only one bar to drink bourbon, where would it be? Oh, I put this because I wanted to know for you. Because you get with this glare. I don't. Well, you don't hang out, though. Yeah. Rex doesn't hang out. That's Rex's problem. So Rex never leaves his house unless he has to. Um, I actually do roam around Austin, usually alone, because uh, it's preferable. There we go. And um, But here's the thing, man. In Austin, there are so many options. That's like saying, hey, I'm in Vegas. Where should I gamble? <laughs> it's like, well... A casino? Dude, uh, I mean, that... In Austin, Austin has three pastimes. Music, food, and alcohol. That's it. And so, for any of those three things, there are thousands of so interesting options. Let's narrow it down. So let's narrow, I'm gonna narrow it to two categories. Don't give a relaxing. Yeah. Want to explore the thing you're actually doing. Yeah, I have, right? I have one place in mind, go ahead. Okay, so for me, if I'm really serious about I want to go somewhere amazing for whiskey, it's either going to be... Now he said bourbon, but go ahead. Uh, well, whiskey in general. Yeah. Roosevelt Room or Peche. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I would say the Blackheart, but that's in super hipster territory, and every time I go, I get annoyed. But they have <laughs> one of the biggest whiskey selections. Um, if all I'm doing is wanting to relax, smoke a cigar or read a book and drink whiskey, then I go to Don's Depot. It's one of the oldest bars. It's like 50 years old. It's train, train it's train cars welded together. And every night of the week there's music and it's all of the, it's the true old Austin crew. Yeah. And they only have like four whiskeys and the whole bar. Mm -hmm. And they're not good ones. How? But I go there and I order one of them and I sit in the back and drink and read a book. How is the whiskey selection at Fado? Um, Fado, oh, magnificent, actually. It's up there with Peche or, um, maybe not with Roosevelt Room. Fourth Street. It's up there. It's Fourth Street. Fourth Street, and Fado's great. It's a, uh, yeah, it's great. I love Fado. Oh. I love it. And you can smoke a cigar on their patio. Uh, before we forget, Ralphie. No! Oh! So, so hold on, Ralphie, what day are we shooting these? I don't know. Whatever day we are. Whatever. So at this moment, Ralphie is another whiskey review channel. He's been doing it for nearly a decade. More than a decade, I think. Really? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think for, it's over 10 years. Long, long time. Uh, and Ralphie right now is 99,760 at the time of this recording. By the time it comes out, he may actually be over 100,000. Yeah. If he's not over 100,000... Then let's make him over 100,000. Let's 100, make him over 100,000. If he is, then go to his most recent video and congratulate him. It's, it's a huge deal in the whiskey niche. Yes, it is. And uh, in the comments, tell him the Whiskey Vault crew gives him a big congratulations. Ralphie is a badass. Yeah. I watch all of his episodes because I'm as nerdy about whiskey as Ralphie is. Rex doesn't. <laughs> I like cartoons. Because Rex has a short attention span. <laughs> but but I, uh, for me, Ralphie is great. You were saying that... He's that like the Mr. Rogers of whiskey. Well, and I think I am constantly annoyed by anybody who talks about influential whiskey reviewers and doesn't mention Ralphie. Yeah. Because he has been putting in the work day after day longer than almost any whiskey reviewer you can follow right. on blogs I'm, or videos I'm or anything. fairly certain he is the first whiskey reviewer to ever get past 100,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm actually one of his Patreon supporters um, because I want to make sure he never goes away. All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.